welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally going to do another part of this picture, which is The Little Mermaid from um, Disney Princesses, which is a Hatchet Heroes book, and it's like a smaller one. It's um, half the size of the normal size ones that you get. And excuse me whilst I just make it so that um, I can get that to go up. Um, so we did the skin last time, and we're... We've been using our teaser pencils, so I thought we will do her hair and depending on how long it takes to do her hair, I'll either go on and do her tail or we might do flounder, perhaps, um, but hopefully this won't take too long to do because um, we'd spent quite a lot of time just doing, just doing the skin last time, which does look really good. So apologies if any of you were waiting forever for the second part of this to arrive. <laughs> it has now. Um, I just had a few streams that I ended up doing instead and I wanted some time to curl for myself plus I have to go to the gym um, like after so after work I'm quite busy in terms of I have to go to the gym I have to go to ballet so then when I get back from doing all those things quite often I just want to sit and you know just enjoy myself on my own time um, so I might move these pencils out the way so I can put this back without oh no now all my flags are falling so um yeah i have like quite a few flags <laughs> that i've kind of collected um from the scandinavian countries i've been to so now i've moved stuff out the way we <sighs> that's better then we didn't have to have the um you know the cover flipping anyway um and i've some i have been a bit busy at the weekends a little bit um the last few weeks doing two streams and then also I had my birthday and so I was doing things for that and I did a dance thing so I've been busy not massively busy but busy enough um so we are using our teaser pencils I will zoom in on the picture um shortly but I'll just you know show us so um we would like to do her hair red obviously so um I'm gonna use like a dark red which i'm thinking maybe garnet red for the dark parts so i'm just gonna get that out i've tried to take out as many of the tray um tray things out as possible so that i can um i don't have to remove <laughs> I constantly be going through them all to try and find it so that's passion fruit garnet red here we go found it oh and it's nicely sharpened beautiful so we're gonna use garnet red um i think luckily all the other reds are a bit easy to get to so if we use garnet red then maybe spanish red might be quite nice see if i can find where spanish red is no is it underneath here oh yeah it was right next to the um garnet one spanish red and Venetian red's very a lot more redder in this set than it is in others. So, um, I don't know. Do you want to use Venetian? It's kind of a nice red, maybe or maybe rose red. I don't know if you can see, but we might. I think we're going to use rose red, which is at the bottom, and that'll be the lightest color. And they're all nice and sharp. Yes, that's what I like. So I'll put that back over here. <clears throat> so the three colors that we're going to use um, go from the darkest to the lightest so i'll put them in order for you is garnet red which is a072 spanish red a139 and rose red which is a001 and we're going to use those and they're from the arteza set the 120 set so um you won't have all these colors if you use the what is it a 70 set i think it's 70 in the other set i can't really remember so um i apologize as well if i accidentally knock the tripod as i am now I have to try and rearrange. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to rearrange things. No, one of my flags just fell out. It's because I put them in like cups and they're probably not best suited in there. Oh, this is not gonna work. Right, I'm gonna move this onto my bed so that it's out of the way. <sighs> my Icelandic flag, move that out of the way. Right, there we go. Hopefully we don't get the cover falling, but I will be colouring so. It's just so that you can see it, but because of the book and the angle it is, it's just those cups are getting all in the way. <laughs> right, and apologies if I do not the tripod because I am colouring with my arm through the um, 
through the legs. So, oh, I just got a bit of string on me, which is annoying me. So I'm going to start with the garnet red first. Um, obviously, this bit in here is going to be a bit darker because it's on the shadow, I don't know, in the shadowy part of her hair. So we're just going to her hair. And I want it to be quite dark, so I, like I said, I'm not... I'm not pressing like ridiculously hard, but I am going to be using medium pressure so that we can get it darker. And if you wanted to, you could add black to make it even like all grey to make it even darker, which I don't know, I might add a little bit of that if I feel like I need to, but we will see how it looks first of all. Um, We'd have a bit darker here. So I tend to like use the lines of that the artist has drawn in the hairs and things um, to kind of help me a little bit in terms of like where I think the shadows and stuff will be now obviously it depends on if you want to use like lighting as just as a source as well you might find that also determines but um sometimes I do it but because this is just like a small picture I'm not like really that fussed of it about it you know having a light source in a specific place I just kind of go with where I feel I want it to be so the other pictures and stuff I do try sometimes. Depends if I can be bothered or not. <laughs> so we're just going to use this. Um, like I said, I may add, um, I'll see what the other colours are like. Because I feel, if I, if I feel like the dark shade and the middle shade light blend, they're too close and you can't really see much of a difference, then I might go back in and add a bit of, um, um, what's it called? black or maybe a dark really dark gray i'm kind of also going to do it like around here as well i think quite a bit of a strands um now you could if you wanted to color this hair like um it's stranded but i don't know for disney i kind of feel like i don't know i just don't feel like doing that um i do do that sometimes for some uh, people's hair some pictures that I color with some ladies in but it depends like Hannah Carlson's isn't I wouldn't normally do that with hers just because of the black lines um and then I don't really do it with Hannah Lynn's ones either so it just depends on if I feel like it or not sometimes I prefer to just block color it because it's quicker and I don't know why I just I find like doing that this I don't enjoy doing it I think that's like, I don't hate doing it, but I don't enjoy it so much. So I think, um, although it's similar to how, like, you would colour fur over there and you'd use, like, shorter strokes and stuff, I don't mind colouring fur that much. I mean, I still don't love it, but, like, I prefer it to colouring hair. So, <clears throat> apologies, I do have a bit of a cold still. It's better. I don't, luckily, I don't have, like, a, um, you know, an achy head or anything like that. I just have a stuffy nose, unfortunately. Which is very irritating. Could be worse though. Um, I don't have to constantly blow it all the time, but I've had like worse runny noses and blocked noses. So hopefully it will go away. And hopefully I'll be lucky and I won't get another cold, but we'll see. <laughs> it happens. So to be fair, I've been quite lucky. I think this is the first cold. Since autumn, I think I had one cold at the end of last year, and it wasn't like much of one. It like didn't last a very long time, and then I've had this one, so that's not too bad. And we're almost in spring now, so hopefully all the colds and the flu and all that should disappear. Well, I mean it won't totally disappear, but you know. And then I guess we go on to hay fever season, which luckily so far I'm not affected by, but I know that you can at any time just uh you know you can get hay fever you can become allergic to anything at any time in your life which i think is insane um but yeah hopefully fingers crossed that never happens because currently um i'm not actually allergic to anything i mean i have had i have had an allergic reaction to something before but i don't know what it was that caused it um i had to have like my one and only ever feeling that i've ever had um I came back and I had a rash the next day on my face and on my arms, but it wasn't anything to do with the dentist. 
there was no latex or anything like that um and then i had to have it like repaired or patched up or whatever um this summer and i had no nothing no allergic reaction afterwards so i was like hmm wonder what it was so i don't know it could have been something i don't know i do feel like like my skin can be a little bit sensitive like just a little bit like i've used um when i was younger i used i think i tried clearer face wash on oh my goodness that it wasn't a reaction though well i mean it's a reaction but it wasn't like an allergic reaction it just dried my skin out like insanely so bad so then i you know i could never use it again but that wasn't like an allergic reaction it was just you know my skin didn't agree with it <laughs> yeah anywho it's very fascinating um, but yes, hopefully uh, I do not get any allergies because I like to be able to eat all the food I can eat <laughs> and, you know, use products without having to worry about things. Um, so we're just doing a bit more of a hit around here. Um, I feel this bit here is a bit tricky because I'm not really, it's like kind of, I don't know, I'm just kind of doing whatever on this bit. Yeah, I kind of feel like I might end up adding a little bit of a darker colour in just to add a bit more shadows. So anyway, I have been been lucky. I have had a week off. I'm lucky because it's half term, so I've been enjoying just spending some time. Um like just doing more colouring really um good got I've gone out like a little bit um I was supposed to meet a friend for lunch but unfortunately their dog got sick so I ended up not being able to do that so hopefully at some other point I can meet up, up with her which will be nice so yeah it's been horrible weather though we've had we had a huge storm like of two weeks ago and then last weekend we had another one so there's quite a bit of flooding around not too far from me actually um not in my area but like in like an area like half an hour 40 minutes away from me is like flooded or you know two or an hour away because they live near a river i mean i live near a river but i live high up so um you know i'm lucky i don't I mean, there could there could be flooding uh, one day. I mean, I'm not saying that we would because I live on a hill means I don't won't get flooded, but I don't live near a river, so like that kind of helps. Um, there is one in my city, obviously, but I don't live near the city centre, so therefore I will not be affected if that river floods. Um, well, my house won't be affected, obviously. If I wanted to go shopping or something, that might get affected. Um, so yeah, it's kind of sad, but. Yeah, a lot of them. I think it happens to quite a few areas every often. So I do feel sorry for the people. It's not nice having that. But unfortunately, it's something that's going to happen a lot more often because global warming. So unless we sort stuff out, um, it's just going to con constantly happen. I mean, the only thing I think, I guess if you live somewhere, well, mind you, you probably... I think if they were going to build new houses and it was going to be the flood area, I was going to say, you might not want to do this to your house if, you know, your house is already built. But if they're going to build new areas in, like, areas that might get flooded, and I think they have done this in some places, is where, like, the bottom floor is, like, they built it so it's got, like, say, maybe three floors. And then the first floor could either be, like, a garage where you might park your car or... um it could be or like the ground floor, I guess is what you call it, or like you have it all tiled so that if there is a flood, like that room isn't got carpets and things like it will, you know, more m like there won't be there'll be minimal damage, basically. And it'd be easy to clean up once, you know, the water's gone. Um, But the point is, is you'd use it as a room that you would you wouldn't like use it as a living room, which in traditional, you know, houses, you often would use the ground floors like a living room, dining room you know kitchen and stuff so the idea is that on the first floor is where your kitchen and living room would be and then the third floor is like your bedrooms um so i don't know you can kind of use that as an extra den or something but the point is is that you would have furniture that you could easily move up the stairs if you needed to or you just didn't keep anything there that would really matter if it got flooded but as i say that they can do that with like new houses that they're going to build but if you've already got a house like it's you know you've only got two floors you're not exactly necessarily a gonna want to tile your living room <laughs> and i mean kitchens 
quite often a child anyway but you might not want but you know kitchen units you can't exactly take them out and take a cooker upstairs so um yeah I do feel like it's it's not nice for people that already live there there's not much they can necessarily do to make their homes a bit more you know suitable for flooding whereas new homes they could do that which I do think I think I did see in a program that one man had done that like and he'd built a new house and he'd done that for that very reason so yeah so uh, I don't know I don't know how they're going to solve that issue because the problem is is like building flood defenses which is cool and all but then it just sends the water somewhere else or some other village will get flooded further down anyway so I don't think you know there's not there's much you can do about it as I say because of the rising tides because of global warming it's just going to happen more frequently or you know some places will just be underwater permanently but hopefully doesn't happen because you know we won't have venice anymore or new orleans or any of those places they won't exist because they'll be underwater which i would rather they not be underwater because they're cool places to go visit but also people live there and that's not you know nice that they might have to move um so anywho enough about the horrible storms but yeah it's unfortunately been horrible weather raining like all week every day we've had some rain um i had to go do the food shopping t this morning and i was just like really <laughs> i have to go out in the pouring rain but if i don't go out in the morning i like to get a, a cinnamon bun from Lidl's, um and because they're really nice they're cinnamon buns they're they're cheap but they're also really nice um i think one of the nicest cinnamon buns i have found in the uk anyway i mean some cafes probably have some nice ones but i haven't found any cafes yet that sell nice cinnamon buns i mean all the nice ones are in sweden as far as i'm aware um because that's where the best ones were but little's do a nice one um but if i don't go early enough in the morning they are all gone and i was so lucky so when i got there today i was looking at, there's so many like you know donuts and other pastries and stuff and i was like where are the buns the cinnamon buns there was one left <laughs> and i was like it's for me it's like they knew i was coming and they left it for me so yeah i had one cinnamon bun left which i definitely was just like i'm having that <laughs> um okay so now we're going to go to the spanish red and like i said we'll see if there's like much of a difference it does look a bit like it so we'll see like at the end because i can always like i say add some stuff in so yes i was very happy to get my cinnamon bun yum 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 i'll eat that later um so yeah that's kind of all i've been doing and i'm not going to talk about it too much because i feel like i talked about it an awful lot in the last video um but obviously um i have i'm going to disney world so i finally was able to book the restaurants that i wanted and also to build a lightsaber which is pretty cool unfortunately i don't know if like i know a couple of people here like jen and stuff have been to like disney world like they go quite often but you have to use like an app called my disney experience now they say to like do it on the computer rather than the actual app on your phone so i did it on the computer but every time i clicked on my like the time i wanted for my reservation it would just say the page cannot be displayed and this was for everything i was clicking on all the times all the different days and I was like, what's going on? So I had to call them up in the end to book it, which I was really annoyed because A, you're on hold for like an age, although you do get to listen to um, Disney music and Indiana Jones was on there. And I was like, yes, Indiana Jones. So I was kind of happy about the music choice, but it's still annoying that you have to be on hold for a long time because, well, so, you know, they've got to deal with a lot of people. So it makes sense, but it was just very frustrating. Um, but I managed to book them all anyway. But then I couldn't do this. I, I couldn't do it for the lightsaber either. But they did say they had had issues with that. But they didn't couldn't tell me why I couldn't book stuff for the dining, which was really irritating. So if you know, I'm just thinking if what if I decide I want to book something else? I don't want to have to call up. Um, I'm hoping because I I have to do fast passes, but I don't have to do those till June. That that doesn't happen either. I don't want to call up to book the fast passes because I'm a very visual person. I need to see like the little calendar with the dates and the times. I am someone that needs to see it and when you're on the phone and you can't picture that it's just like and also like I didn't know what days I wanted to do stuff on so I just had to pick random days and I feel like because I wanted to visually see it like that would have helped me a lot more with the choosing the dates so I think for the fast passes I definitely want to be able to do it on the app because 
I need I really will want to visually see it and I will have to like book it around what we've already booked as well because obviously I don't want to have a fast fast when we're supposed to be eating dinner somewhere that wouldn't be good and I'm also oh actually hopefully they by that time they'll have released the Halloween tickets because turns out they're not gonna really release them until like March sometime I don't know the specific date though the guy couldn't tell me that but he was like probably March and I was like okay because they released them really early last year it was like January so I was like where are these tickets I want to get them because I probably am gonna have to go on the first ever night which means it will be busy and the tickets will go really quickly and I really want to go and it might be the only time I can go is the first night so um which I really hope like they I hope there are two events that I can go to because if I can't get tickets to the first one then at least I could get tickets for the second one but I'm also very tempted to go twice because if I can't I think there's like so much stuff to do you'd have to like maybe sacrifice a few things um and I don't know I kind of want to get some of the food that you can get which you might have to line for a long time for I'd want to go see the characters the special characters that only come out during that event um there's right special overlays on some of the rides and I think the ride waits tend to not be that long but you know you might not be able to go on the ride because you're waiting in line forever for a character or something and then there's like two shows which I do think they show twice so you know and a parade or whatever so I do feel like you can I don't know I just feel like I wouldn't want to just go once and then find I don't get to see everything because it's not like I'm gonna be going back like anytime soon I mean I don't know I really want to go um next year as well because it's the 50th anniversary so I'm very tempted, very tempted to go for the 50th anniversary. Um, but I feel like February, like this half term would be like a good time to go because it wouldn't be super, super, super busy. I mean, it would will still be busy, but it's not going to be as busy. Um, and then um, I think the weather, it would be hot, but it wouldn't be as hot and humid. It wouldn't be like ridiculously humid. So... I'd be able to cope um the only thing is is that some of the rides might be down for like refurb though so that's not cool but if they're water ones I'm not that fussed because I don't really like water rides that much anyway I like Splash Mountain but that's about it really so yeah anywho enough about that so oh I think that looks quite nice um I will do just have to blow my nose uh, so apologies for the sound of it but I really need to blow it so I'm gonna do that I can't, sorry, I couldn't be bothered to like stop the camera for like two seconds to blow my nose. So, um, yeah, so sorry for that you had to hit that. Anywho, maybe I can edit it out. Maybe who knows? Anyway, we're gonna use rose red, and um, we're just gonna use that to just finish off her hair. Um, I'm gonna try and use like leave like maybe some very slight little white highlights, or you know, do it a little bit lighter so it really looks like we've got it. So you see, I tried to follow like the curve of her hair in terms of, even though block colouring it, like the curve of the like hair that we have. So that's why I put like a dark line there, because then it kind of makes it look like that stuff. And that's looking good. And the pencils feel like like I said they feel quite nice on the paper I think last time I was saying about how I thought they feel like I feel like that I really like them for the skin um I do the only thing I find with the artists is, is you do get quite a lot of white you know when you've been coloring maybe it's because the paper could be quite toothy but um I do get a lot of like little white spaces and I kind of don't like that and I do feel like on a lot of the paper and things that I color in I get that a lot now maybe I need to layer it a bit more but layer the pencils a bit more to not get that and also it could be like I said the paper's just like really toothy because I mean I get the same with prisma colors and stuff sometimes um so like romantic country being quite a smooth book these might work quite a lot nicer on them perhaps um but either way still not bad Okay, it's a 
basically now well, there's a little bit of dust from the pencils so just made it off so we have done ariel's hair and they didn't take us too long to do so woohoo so um i think we will do her tail as she's there so let me put these away and then we'll have a little look as to what colors we could do her tail um just put those back in there okay so zoom out a little bit just so that we can um get the swatch back in so her tail is kind of like i don't know i'm gonna say kind of a little bit like the spearmint or the parakeet green though there's the emerald green which i think you can see down there which does look nice so i don't know jade green could we could maybe use for a dark color i don't feel like it's like the forest or basil green so maybe i could use the jade green for a darkish tone then i kind of like the emerald a bit more than the spearmint then maybe the mint green could be the lightest color so i think we'll use jade emerald and then mint green so oh luckily i think i can get all those quite easily out my tin um spraying green nope don't want that one parakeet spearmint mint so there's a mint one um, I think I forgot that I like sharpened all these because I think I must have sharpened them when I was swatching them. Yeah, because they come with that really weird like tip. So they're all beautifully sharpened. I, I really like that. Um, this must be jade green, I think. No, that's fern. Emerald and jade. Here we go. Got them. Got them, got them. So we're going to follow the same principle as what we did for her hair. And I'll just get all the pencils lined up for you so that you can see what colours we're using. So again, these are from the 120 sets. So if you have, I think it's a 72 set or something. I can't remember how many, but the, the, the next smaller tin, you might not have all these colours. So we're going to use jade green and emerald green and mint green. So jade green is A059, emerald green is A094 and mint green is A030. So we'll start with the jade green first. So let me zoom back in. Now these bits here, this part and this part of her tail, I'm not going to colour that those parts in with this because that won't be the same colour. It'll be like a lighter colour. So um, let me see. I feel like I want to do it. I might do it dark down both sides, actually. So we'll just start going there. So I'm going to go like around the edge of her and I will go like where her hair is, but we'll just start down here first. I do like how having really nice sharp points on my pencils is really nice, especially when they stay sharp for ages, but a lot of them, they don't. <laughs> um, so you do get quite a lot of like dust come off these pencils, um, which can be like a little bit, annoying so you just have to be careful if you're going to brush them away to um because you could smear the page now i don't think there's a lot of smearing with this like i think the prisma colors they smear quite a lot actually and i'm i don't think these are too bad but i just you need to kind of be careful so that you don't get it somewhere where you can't cover it up okay so there's that bit so down here where her hair is it'd be a bit darker so we'll do a little bit darker down here not too much just like a little bit and then down here as well there we go cool oh I just remembered, obviously, because we're colouring in Disney. Um, we finally will be getting Disney Plus on the 24th of March in the UK. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting forever for this um, to come out. Because it really sucked that they didn't release it worldwide. I'm just, like, really more annoyed because The Mandalorian. Because, like, I want to see that. Now, I could have watched it, like, online somewhere. But I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to pay money in terms of like I'm going to pay money to get the service I then didn't want to not watch it on there 
because there's not a lot of extra stuff at the minute that is just unique to that you know like most of it's just going to be like the back catalogue of Disney movies and TV shows so um, there's not going to be as much original content um, when you know at the minute obviously there are some there's not loads but obviously over time there'll be a lot more but at the moment there's not like a lot of original content and I just you know didn't want to like pay money for that to then have only you know watched it somewhere else without having had to pay or you know some people I don't know if people could watch it on now tv or something um but I'm but you know there's ways to <laughs> there's ways to watch things but um I wanted to you know to watch it on on there but it's just annoying because you know, I feel like a little bit like everyone in America and probably there are people in the UK that have definitely seen it. And, you know, when like a show's already been on and people talk about it and it's like you're behind in watching it. I hate that. I'd have much rather watched it when everyone else was watching it. Now, obviously, there's lots of other people in the world that also don't have Disney Plus. So they also, well, you know, they probably have seen it online if they wanted to really see it. So I do find a bit annoyed. And also, you know, having to avoid spoilers for it for so many months as well. And I'm annoyed because obviously I know about Baby Yoda because they plastered it everywhere. And there's also like merchandise for it. Um, but I think I've also, I have mentioned this before, at least like I don't know like what the role of that character is in the show at the minute. But yeah, <laughs> needless to say... I'm a little bit annoyed that we had to wait so long, but it probably may have been due to the fact that if they released it worldwide to all the countries in the world, like Netflix, I think is everywhere apart from a few countries that are like, you know, like Syria, unfortunately don't have Netflix because of the war. So a couple of countries like that don't have Netflix, but most countries around the world have Netflix. Um, so if they did the same thing where they released it so everyone all at once could get it, then I have a feeling that it would have crashed and that might have been why they decided to release it in phases instead because if there were any bugs and stuff they can you know work it out before they release it to more people because you know that's gonna cause stuff problems so I can kind of see why we haven't got it but it just sucks that you know we had to wait a long time so I think the Netherlands got it when it came out in November and I'm thinking why why the Netherlands why could we get it to be honest I, I feel like they should just let all of Europe get it because yeah i mean it's cool that the netherlands got it they were very very lucky <laughs> lucky people but i think and then i know there was a couple other countries i just can't remember which ones but yeah all those countries that did get it on the in november i'm very jealous but anywho i don't have long to wait now so i'm quite excited and i'm just mostly excited to like be able to watch old tv shows that i used to watch when i was little so like boy meets world i used to absolutely love that when i was a child so i cannot wait to go back and watch that and you know ducktales the original ducktales not this new one i mean the, the stories for the new ducktales i think are probably good i haven't like you know watched it so now we're going to use emerald green um i haven't like watched it or anything because obviously i don't have disney channel but obviously i can watch it now i just don't have the animation style I also don't like the animation style for the new Mickey and Minnie shorts either. Um, and it's a bit more like slapsticky, I don't know, like violent humour a little bit. It kind of just reminds me of like Ren and Stimpy. I mean, not to like that level, but you know where, I don't know, I just don't feel like it suits Mickey and Minnie to be in that like, a that animation style and the storylines, like I'm not really a fan. So, um, and I know they've got a new ride in Disney World like with it and I'm I'll go on it obviously but I'm kind of like not really digging the animations up I prefer the you know the other ones <laughs> much better so yes I am really really and I have a feeling I don't know when it comes out but Lizzie McGuire is back and I'm very excited for Lizzie McGuire I really really liked watching that when I was younger um, I really hope that it's not like the what they did with the Boy Meets World, which was the Boy Meets Girl, and have it as like about their kids. I mean, I, f I think that was fine and like that worked and stuff, but I just don't want it to be the same premise. I really just want to see what Liz McGuire's like now in her 30s and what is her life like? I kind of want this to be like for adults, not really like children. Um, I mean, obviously, like, you know, s kids could watch it and it's not like, you know gonna be a problem is that that's what I mean but like you know as in it's really designed for people of the same age who can relate to the struggles that Lizzie McGuire is going through in life <laughs> that's what I kind of hope it will be so uh, I'm very much looking forward to it 
Um, so yeah, I can't wait for that to come out soon. Um, oh, I've also been, um, I have been reading some more books um, because this half term I finally, um, well actually before half term I had a book that I had out for months and I just was really, I don't know, I just sort of like reading took a back seat and I liked the story. I mean, it, to be honest, it was quite hard for me to get into it because the second I've been reading this at the Court of Thorns and Roses, I've been reading that. Um, the first book, yeah, it was alright. It wasn't amazing, but it was alright. Second book, I just kind of, the beginning was so boring. I really, really struggled to get into the beginning. But once it got past the beginning bit and the main character was in the place that she's, I mean, also I don't want to go into the story in case you haven't read it, but the main character goes somewhere basically and she's there for some time. Um, and then it got more interesting. And then I was like, actually, I really like this book series. I think this book series is really good because at first I didn't really like, I've been reading the Throne of Glass one and I really like the Throne of Gra Glass one. I really like the character, the main character, Sel Selena or whatever, however you say her name. Um, she's cool. Um, I like her character um, and stuff. Although, you know, there's things that annoy me about the characters, like, in the book a little bit. Like, everyone gets annoyed about characters and stuff at some point. But anyway, um, I really, really liked those books and thought they were great. And so I thought, oh, you know, I wonder if it's by the same author. You know, hopefully this will be, like, as good as that one. And I did feel like the first book, I was a bit like, oh, this is not not as good. Because they they're meant to be based... She bases them kind of, like, on like fairy tale characters so the the throne of glass is supposed to be like a cinderella type story i mean it's not actually cinderella but you know she kind of bases it a little bit loosely i'm gonna say very and this is very very loosely that one is very loosely loosely based on cinderella um and then the throne of glass was supposed to be beauty and the beast which you kind of you can that one you relate more because the character goes some she has to live with in this fairy realm and this guy has a mask on his face, like he's been cursed. So she's got, and they're hoping that she'll fall in love with him. So he'll break, she'll break the curse, blah, blah, blah. So that's very much like Beauty and the Beast. Um, and I, I kind of felt like <clears throat> I didn't really like, like that part of the story. Like I kind of felt like that was kind of a bit meh. Um, towards the end though, when she has to do some stuff, then it kind of was quite good. And I liked that. And we got more interesting characters as well. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel like the Throne of Glass series has taken some time to warm up. Um, and I'm really annoyed because with both the Throne of Glass and the Court of, uh, Court of Rose, Thorns and Roses, whatever it's called, um, I need to read like the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses. Sorry, I, it's just such a mouthful to say. The Court book. I need like the third one of that one. And I think I need the fifth book. Or is it the fourth one? I, either the fourth or the fifth book of the... Um, throne of glass one and they have not been in my library for ages and i've had to request them now because i've been waiting forever for the next books to be in the library and they haven't um in fact one of them's overdue and there has been since like january and i'm like that person are they keeping it now because i'm like i want the book <laughs> um and they have the next one so the one after the book I need to read, they had. So I was just like, I'm getting those out of the library because I am not having, I'm going to wait ages for the, the book I need to be there to find when I finish that one, the next book is not there. Because I do have to say, I don't like to keep the books for ages because, you know, other people do want to read them. So, you know, it's a library. We have to share. <laughs> Um, but in that case, I was just like, I've I've already waited months. <laughs> and luckily, because I was so slow at getting into the other book, you know, obviously I didn't finish it. And I felt bad because I'd had that book for ages. I think I renewed it like eight times. And I felt really bad because like, I'm sure someone really wanted to read it. Um, although, you know, they can request it. And if they do that, then you have to like, bring it back the next time. Um, so and I did have that happen to me. But luckily, I was not too far from finishing it so I managed to finish it in time because I was like I need the book I was like I haven't finished reading it and I don't I had only just got out of the library as well at the time so I was a bit like I haven't had it that long um so this is mint green and we're going to use that one now for the last bit for the tail and then we can do the fins and this part and then we'll have to her hair and her tail yeah so I'm really annoyed and so I've been trying to then I thought okay I need something new to read them because I also had um I also read the um testaments which is the second Hermes tale book and it was so good and I've I read it in less than a week and that's actually quite rare for me to 
do that um it has to be a very good book for me to read it that quickly because i because of all the hobbies i do I don't have as much time for reading, but I really, really, really liked it. And because of half term as well, I had a bit more time. So in the morning, um, as I didn't have to get up to go to work, I just sat and read my book for like half an hour or an hour in my bed <laughs> before I got up for breakfast. So, you know, that kind of helps. It's like, that's kind of the only times I feel like I have to read is like when I'm making my dinner at lunchtime or sometimes I, if the book I'm reading is really good, I will sometimes read before I go to bed. But quite often there's like TV shows I like to watch and I kind of want to like sit and pay attention to one before I go to bed as well so like you know I kind of have to choose between the two sometimes um and then like in the mornings um so like on a Saturday or Sunday morning I can obviously read a book like but obviously you know I mean I could when I was working but then I'd have to wake up really early and that's just not gonna happen so um obviously when I'm working I can't do read the my book in the morning um before I go you know I'd have to get up so that sort of limits I mean, obviously, if I didn't do colouring and my other hobbies, and yes, I would have more time to read, but obviously I want to do these as well. So I kind of have to juggle between doing all my hobbies um, so I can, you know, have time to read. Um, so I read that one really quickly, and that was really, really good. And I really hope that they, because the TV series, the way it's going now, I feel like there's not much further they can go without it, you know, turning really dreadfully boring and... I hate it when a TV show is really good and then it goes downhill and then ends really, like, not good. I'd rather there be less seasons and it end on a high than having millions of seasons and it go downhill. So what they could do is, because this book is set, like, 15 or 20 years after the events of the first one, they could follow um, that book and do... So instead of doing, like, another handmade season, they could do a testament season. So, you know, they could be either connect the same show handmaids and then i don't know in brackets but the testaments or whatever but i think that would be quite good because um i feel like it would be very interesting and people hopefully would find it interesting i mean i certainly enjoyed the book it was definitely better than how the first one ended <laughs> i think she said she wrote it because so many people were asking her questions about gilead and like does it fall what happens to to offred and all these things so she kind of said she had to write it because uh, a lot of people kept asking about it and i was like yes because you kind of left it on a cliffhanger and it was like what happens that's why i really like the tv show because you kind of see a bit more that goes on right we will do the light parts of the fin and whatever that part is i don't know what you call it but we'll do that so um I'm going to just not zoom out. Um, I kind of think they're quite light. So, I don't know whether, would it be good to do, I could do the turquoise, but I think I would have to do it very lightly and then you add white to kind of like make it a lot lighter. So I might do that and then have a tiny bit of the spearmint green. So let me get spearmint green. There it is. And then what colour did I say? Turquoise, I think, wasn't it? And now I have to dig out the white, which is buried under the tin. There it is. Woo! We didn't have to go too far to get it. Looks like I've already used it as well, actually. Should be alright though. Um, so <laughs> we are gonna use Spearmint green A096 and turquoise A017. Um, and we are just going to use a little bit of the spearmint, so not an awful lot, just a little bit to like outline a few things because this is kind of meant to be a little bit translucent. So, this is why I'm probably going to go quite light with the turquoise and then use the white to kind of make it seem a little transparency, 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 transparent. Oh, I don't really know all the words, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, yes, anyway, back to books. Because <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying talking about books. Um, I have like a friend who loves reading. And um, I was asking her for recommendations. I was like, you know, I don't know what to read. I wanted to read something similar to the, um, the Court of Thorns and Roses and Throne of Glass. Because I really like those kind of books. Although some parts are a little bit cheesy. Because obviously they are YA books. So sometimes I'm like reading it and going, this is so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously like you know that's just how they are but I still like them so I'll still read it anyway but I am sort of like sometimes like oh my you know sort of like thinking oh my goodness like in my head like oh 
really. <laughs> but obviously, like, um, you know, it's just, just how it's written. Sometimes things are cheesy in books, just how it is. So um, I asked her for some recommendations. Um, she, I think she gave me, she did tell me one book. And then I kind of thought, actually, because it was written by men, and there's nothing wrong with books written by men by any means, but I think when it comes to some romance stuff, I do feel like the women write it a bit better than the men, only because, obviously, if it's from... If it's a main, if the main character's a woman, because you're a woman, you'll see understand women's the you know, women a bit better being a woman yourself. So um I kind of feel like that sort of stuff. I prefer um more from a women's like from a woman writer than a male writer. It doesn't mean like the male writers aren't good at it or by any means, but it just means I I just I prefer the women ones. So I just feel like they, they do a slightly better job at it. Um you know, just a little bit. <laughs> so, um, I, I think the one she gave me was written by a man. So, I mean, I'll still probably read it, but I just thought, oh, that's not what I'm kind of looking for at the minute. So probably when I've like had my feel of reading similar books, then, um, I might read something different. So I, then I had to just go online and sort of have a troll through the troll. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that's the right word scroll there it is i just scroll through the internet to see um what books um were similar or you know rated good um and i think there's one that came up called the cruel prince which looks quite similar i mean it's got fairies and stuff in it so i was like all right i was like and it's by like i said it's by a woman so i thought okay i'll check it out um uh, and actually my friend did say that that one was really really good and that i would like it so i was like okay cool um I got that one. I got this one called like Witch Something. It's called Witches. I can't, I can't read the title from here, but it's Witch Something. Um, it's just I don't know. It's got witches in it. It's set in it because I like fantasy books, so witches fantasy. I thought hmm, it sounds kind of good and interesting. So, and again, my friend, she's not read it, but she said that people have talked about it, so she was like, it's probably good. So I was like, okay. And then the last one I got, which I started reading first because I decided because the Black Prince is, there's another book, the Black Prince, the Cruel Prince, there's another book and they did have it in the library, but I had already had a couple of books out and thought, no, I'm not going to be greedy and take the next book. I'll just pray that it's still there when I'm, <laughs> if I decide I want to read it. So um, I thought what I would do is I would read the other two books first because if I read that one and then I really liked it and then I wanted to read the second book, then you know, I'd be annoyed if I had to then wait ages. I mean, I still may have to wait for the second, to read the second book if someone's got it out, but I just thought what would happen is I would read that book first, then I'd really like it and want to read the second book straight away, and then I would end up not reading the other two that I got out, so I thought I'll read the other two first, <laughs> and that way then I know I'll read it, so. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm really, I'm reading this one called Girls of Paper and Fire, and it's about, like, I don't know, it's set in a world where um there's three classes of people there's humans there's human animal hybrids so they might have ears or a tail and then there's like i don't know they're more animal like um and i don't know how i really feel about it i mean i like the main character she's cool and i i think the world it's written in like it's written really cool like you know so far i haven't read a lot but so far like i do feel it's written well like i feel like the so characterizations and stuff i just think because obviously they intermingle and stuff i can't help but think that the humans that have a lot of animal features really look like an animal and you know if they're doing stuff it's like they're kind of doing it with an animal if you see what i mean and that's why i'm a bit like um i don't think this is something i'm gonna really be that interested in but um i haven't really got that far where they've encountered a lot of these people who are mostly animal like a little bit but they i don't this is the thing because it's you've got to imagine it in your head i haven't had a lot of descriptions um other than like one person that looks like a ball and they have like hooves now they could be like a centaur for all i know which, you know, that is not that bad. But um, if it's like they pretty much are like, say, I don't know, I'm thinking Zootopia, <laughs> the movie Zootopia, where they're full animal, but they make them look human in terms of like they walk on, you know, they walk on, they've and and anthropomorphized them, which is where they make them look more human. Um, So, you know, they're like, or well, they're not necessarily look human, but, you know, they talk like a human and whatnot but they in Zootopia you know like they walk like humans as in they walk on two legs um 
I can't help but feel <laughs> they're kind of a bit like that but obviously a bit more human looking but so yeah, there's no pictures obviously of what the author intends for them to look like, but I just kind of feel into species mingling, not really my kind of thing. So um, I'm going to be good, I'm going to give it a chance and I will see if I, um, how I get on with it. Because I do think, I do think the writer has like written it in and I, like I do, like I said, I think the story is interesting so far. Um, it's just like, I might not feel <laughs> so great about st other stuff, but you know, I feel like it deserves a chance, and it did have, like, good reviews, like, people had said it was, like, as in on the back of the book, you know, they get other people to read it, and they were like, it's, this is really good, um, so yeah, I will give it a chance, but as I said, so far at the moment, I am liking it, I just kind of feel like I might get a point where I'm like, eh, maybe not, <laughs> although I could always skip over those bits, to be fair, because I would hate to, like, you know, not be, like, you know, there's part, of, I think there's, like, going to be revenge stuff in the story, and that I kind of would like to, like, know and read about, like, I feel like that I would find really interesting, so I would kind of hate to not get to that point, if that's something that I feel like I really would like, just because of other things, so I can always skip over stuff, because, I mean, to be fair, the, um, they killed an animal in it, and I was like, well, I am skipping over that, because I knew it was coming, and I was like, I don't want to read about this, because <laughs> it's like in The Walking Dead, which, this came out ages ago, but there was a tiger in The Walking Dead, and you knew it was going to die, and I was like, I am not watching this animal being ripped apart by zombies, so I just skipped that bit of that episode, I was like, I'm skipping it, and I was like, I knew it, I know it's going to die, it's going to be dead, but at least I don't have to see it happen, because I hate it when the horses get eaten in The Walking Dead. When they get eaten, I'm like, no! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, we're with turquoise now. Yeah, I really don't like it um, when animals get hurt in... Even if it's a CGI animal, you know, I hate it when animals get hurt in things. Um, and this is one reason why I just cannot watch nature shows anymore. Like, nature documentaries. I mean, okay, I, you know... It's okay when the other animals are killing each other. I mean, I still don't like it, but obviously I know that that's nature and that just happens. But when, you know, you see them get, like, killed and it's, like, because of global warming and I'm just like, I can't, I can't watch the elephant try and find water and there isn't any because of the drought. I'm like, no. So, um, I don't watch those anymore. <laughs> it's too sad. <laughs> and I already, like, know about the bigger impacts and issues of things. I don't need to watch it, so... <laughs> Anywho, I think we've almost finished. So I am, as you can see, I'm going very, very lightly with this turquoise because I really want it to be kind of a bit more translucent. So what we will do is, because we'll put the white over top, it hopefully will like blend it a little bit more and it doesn't look so grainy. So I'm going to get the white now. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, I will be pressing a bit firmer with the white because I really want to try and get those white space things, whatever, out. I mean, obviously we're not going to get them all out because of the paper. I mean, you could use a blender pencil as well. You don't have to use a white, but because I want this to be a bit more translucent-y, I kind of want that kind of, like, white sheen that the white kind of puts over the top when you use it. But if you had a blender pencil or, like, a blender stamp thing or whatever, you could just use that so you don't have to use this. I think that's also what people use, actually, sometimes to get these white bits out. They use a blender pencil to kind of push them out, but... I'd be here forever if I did that, so I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um so just gotta do this little bit down here, which hopefully no you can't see, sorry. I thought I put it in frame at hand. So there we go. That is the little mermaid. She's all coloured in. So we have done all of her now, although actually we do have a little bra. Her little shell bra to do it just it blended in so well with these swirls um so we'll we'll do that another time because it doesn't matter about today so next time we will do flounder we'll do her little shell bra and then probably do a little bit of the plants um which are down the bottom here which you can just about see um and depending on how long that takes um we may get on to doing the background because if I feel like I, the background is not going to take too long so I was going to use the Arteza brush pen markers but because mine have kind of like I don't know they seem to be okay if I use them very like gently or whatever but I think if I wanted to do like a big space they basically will just not work so um 
properly because they're kind of drying out and I don't know why because they're kind of quite new so I've not had them for over I've got them stored upside down so I'm hoping that if I choose to use them later on that they will work um so I thought what we could use instead I have the Faber Castell gelato so I thought we could use those for the background although the only problem that we will face is it will be a bit tricky to get in here amongst this little bit there so I don't know how we're going to do that because unless you have the pastel so unlike the Neo Color 2s where if you have a little bit you can kind of drag it on like you I find that the Faber Castell gelatos don't really allow you to do that so well so um I don't know maybe I could actually just lift it off the gelato itself the paintbrush that might work so actually I might try that um so yeah I thought we could use those because I have them and I figure I should use them and also some of you might be interested in them so why not so anywho that is everything so thank you for watching and you know hearing me rabbit on so maybe the next time I can tell you a bit more about um whether I like any more of the girls of paper and fire books I'll be able to tell you if I like it um feel free if you have any good like sci-fi fantasy books recommendations for me please put that in the comments below because I'm always looking for like new books that I would find interesting. They don't, um, they can be young adult ones. That's fine. I'm quite happy to read YA novels. If they're adult ones too, that's also fine. And again, if they can, it doesn't matter. They can be written by a man or a woman. That is fine. <laughs> I will read both. But um, I was, as I said, it was just for that reason I wanted to read women ones. But um, I'm happy for any suggestions of any good books that you think I might like. Um, I'm not really interested in books so much about the real world. Um, I just I just find them boring. <laughs> I mean, not that they are, but it's just I like fantasy stuff. But, you know, there are some good uh, real world ones. I um, like dystopian stuff too. Um, hence the Handmaid's Tale because it's a dystopian novel. I like things like that. Um, so I will see you soon and hope everybody has had a good day. So see you soon. Bye.